2006, um, my wife was going through some personal things with a uh, local uh, theater. And I was very angry about how it transpired, but she said, let me handle it. And so I started painting. My journey came about with that, just being upset. And I'm, that was my way of getting my frustration out painting at that point. And I'm looking at some of this work and uh, I'm looking at angry anxiety. Yeah. What goes through your mind when uh, you're, you, you move on something like angry anxiety? Well, the thing about it is I couldn't get, I don't always get a title. The title comes many times afterwards because I may think I'm doing one thing. And when I finish, I'm going in a completely different direction. And you just, you just get locked into a certain focus. What goes to my mind is once I get into a certain flow is how the top part, or the beginning, we relate to the final product. I don't always have that answer. I don't always have that answer. And what has inspired me to paint it initially may not be the inspiration I had once I get, get into Interesting it. Interesting how you pick your subjects, though. I mean, I love the library. The I mean, library is, right, is uh, currently at the Enron Medical Center uh, on exhibit still until June. I was going with a, a, a different pattern that's behind it um, all together, and it just wasn't working for me. But the colors were there, and I had to make a balance uh, balance of them. And, and I did that in one night once I realized what I wanted to do. And when I finished with it, I books. I just saw books. Uh, if they can go to my painting, and I've painted it, and they come by with a different interpretation, that's what I love. And that that to me is is therapy for me. Um, because I now can see that other people have their, their visions about the same one piece of painting, different people have a different impression, and I think it's so good. And then this